My name is Agnes Hailstone. I am married to Edward Hailstone. We call him Chip. I'm Edward Hailstone. I'm a subsistence hunter. I'm a subsistence gatherer, fisherman. I'm married to Agnes, and I have five daughters. I try to get them all involved in everything from caribou to seals in the ocean to fish in the river to birds flying overhead to digging stuff out of the ground. We got to be kind of nomadic and change our camps and go where the animals are, or we have to go where the fish are, or we have to go where the plants are blooming or the berries. And sometimes we have to go where the weather tells us to. So we're spending the spring here in the Kiwalik, because this to us is the place to be. Hi, Dad. Hello, Blaine. Warm temperatures and long days allow the hailstones to live off the land in Kiwalik. Yeah. They'll spend the summer harvesting the area's vast resources in order to survive the harsh winter ahead. We've got some important things to do. We're gonna have to set up the tents. We're gonna have to set up our kitchen. We're gonna have to go get some willows and grasses to make our beds. And just generally set things up the way we like them in the summertime and be here till August. Okay, we gotta start moving before the weather comes. Towards evening, it's gonna get cold and start getting moist. One, two, three, let's go. All together. Uh, up to you. I need like a... You need, you could, yep, hold on to a rope, babe. That's all you gotta do. Yep. It, it's bulky is what it is, OK? OK, stop, you guys. Oh, those are caribou. <laughs> Look at that. We missed them. It's a pretty tough sell. I think we probably should just stick with the job we're doing and hope they come a little closer. Let's keep going. One, two, three, go. If I wanted to go after caribou, that would be a considerable effort and a considerable amount of time. And to go up there, to run something down, carry it back here would be exhausting. And then to have to put up the teepee in the tent, that would be even worse. So the whole idea is that once we got the teepee in the tent up, then I can run off. I can go get firewood. I can go chase caribou. I can go do all that stuff. Keep going forward, love. Be careful, it's deep over here on this side. I warned you. Getting our tents up is the number one thing. If we have our tents up, then we're able to operate, stay dry. Without a good place to stay, you ain't no fun. There we go, right there. OK. Oh, well, it's going to rain, you guys. Let's get this up, and let's make a place to cover our stuffs. Pull towards oh, no, we gotta, we got to fix them. It's important to have shelter as fast as you can. We've got rain coming, and we have tons of work to do. But what we do is we cover our bases first, so that if anything happens, we've got a home. Be secure. It's gonna hold for the rest of the summer. So we're gonna just uh, knock off for the night, and we'll start out in the morning and see what we come up with. 